In this video, you will learn what is index, keys and subset in Pandas data frame. We can also perform similar operations in Pandas series. Now let's import Pandas as PD. I'll make one variable df. I'm going to read a CSV file pd.read underscore CSV and then I'll pass my CSV file name which is titanic.csv. Let us look at the head. So I'll write here df.head. And here in the output, you will see we have got this data frame here. So we have columns such as ID, P class, name, gender, age, and so on. These are the columns of this data frame. Now let us look at some basic operations. So first one is a shape. So I'll write here DF dot shape. And here in the output, you will see the same shape. So here we have this rows and columns. 891 are rows and 12 are columns. We can also look at the index. I will write here DF dot index. Now here index, you will see that it says starts with zero and stop at 891. Index is nothing but our rows. And it says that the first row index number is zero and the last row index number is 891. Now if you see the shape of this uh, data frame and the index, so first one is 891 is common because they both represent nothing but the rows. Now you can just use this method index to get any row for example if you want to get the first row then you have to use the index number zero because here it says that range range index start is equal to zero and stop is equal to 891 if you want to get the first row then you will have to type this zero now i'll show you that df dot index and to get the first row we will have to type the index number zero and our first row is nothing but zero and here also you will see in the output the first row has this index number zero if you want to get the last row then you will have to type this index number 891 and if i type df dot index of 891 then we will get uh, so here i'll have to type 890 and then we will get this uh, row number 890 and if I look at the tail of this data frame, I will write df dot tail. Now here it says in the output. So here you will see 890. The last index number is 890, not 891. So stop is 891. To get this last index number, you have to subtract one from this last one. So the last index number is not 891, but 890. And if I try this df dot index of 891 now here i got an error and the error says range object index out of range it means that we are not having any value at this index number 891 and we can see here that the last index is 890 and that is the index here uh, this was about a rows to work on columns uh, we can use the method keys and before that i'll show you one more thing when we type here this df dot index of zero we just get the row number now if you want to get all the values then you can use ilc i'll write here df dot ilc of zero now here in the output you will see we got the value of this index number zero now if i print this df dot head of let's say two only now if you see at this index number we have these values for different columns or uh, we have id is one here you will see id is one p class three name is Bront, mr owen harris gender is male age is 22 sbsp is one patch is zero ticket is this a by five two one one seven one and so on to just get the index, you will have to use this method uh, df dot index and then you have to type the index number which is zero. But if you want to get all the values at that index number one, then you will have to use this method df dot ilc of zero. Uh, this, this was about rows and to work on columns, we will use the method keys. I'll write here df dot keys. Now here in the output, you can see if you use this method keys you will get all the columns name and the columns are starting with id and the last one is survived and if you look at this data frame 
uh, here also it is same the first column is id and the last one is survive so this will help you when you run a for loop on columns then you will use this method keys and to get the values or samples we use the method values now here with the help of this method keys we are getting the column names but if we also want to get the values then there is method values i'll type here df dot values and now here you will see we are getting values and these are the this is the first row this is the second row this is the third row and so on and this is the last one which is 891 this is the last observation uh, so you can see here it is starting with the first one and going up to uh, last one 891 we can also subset column based on condition and let me print df of head of let's say two rows now to subset column based on condition it's very easy let's say we have this column age and we have different age here and we want to subset the data frame and we want to say uh, we want to say that uh, we want to find all the values where the age is greater than the mean age so first we will have to calculate the mean age and let me find the mean age i will write here df of age dot mean and here you will see the mean age is 29 years 29.69 now we want to subset this data frame and we want to find all the values which are greater than the mean age that is which are greater than 29 years and to do that we will write df of age and then df of age is greater than df of age dot mean here we are saying that we want to get all the age or we want to get a data frame where the age of the customer is greater than the mean age and if i print this quote uh, here you will see we are getting the boolean result true false true false and so on now to get the actual result we just have to put one more uh, df here now this will remain same so here this will be df this is going to be one extra data frame here and then inside this we will copy and paste this one and it's very easy now if i execute the code here in the output you can see we got the actual values here and here you will see in this age variable we will not get any age which is equal to 29 or less than 29 you can see here that the age is 38 35 54 58 47 33 32 and so on here we have subset this data frame on this variable age where we are seeing that we want to get all the records where the age is greater than the mean age this is how you can subset any column in this data frame and get the uh, new new output these were some of the methods uh, which were available we can use in in data frame as well as on series you can try it on your own data frame and different series and you can find the results i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching